It's no secret that I'm a big fan of Maono or Mauno or Mono or however you say it. They make great microphones, podcast stations, USB audio interfaces, and today I've got something new from them, unreleased pre-production model. It's one of their new combo USB to or XLR microphones. You can use the built-in sound card if you wanna just connect straight to your PC, or you can plug it into your favorite audio interface and go that route. In this video, I'm gonna unbox it and show you what it looks like, tell you about some of the features, the pros and the cons, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, give you a sound test, and then let you know my final thoughts. Now, if you're new here, my name is Jordan. This is the Phage Reviews YouTube channel, and if you're a subscriber, thanks for coming back as always. Before I dive into opening this box up, if you're not, consider becoming a subscriber, hitting the button, ringing the notification bell, leaving a comment or a like. It really helps the channel grow. And if you wanna go the extra mile, click the link in the description to buy me a soda. I'll shout you out in a future video for being a fantastic supporter. But enough about that, let's dive in and take a look at the new Mayono PD400. X. So because mine is a pre-production model, my box has uh, nothing on it. It's just plain white. Yours will probably be the usual Mayono uh, black and yellow color scheme. It looks fantastic. Their packaging is always on point. But today we just get the uh, the plain white box. Now this is what the microphone looks like in the packaging. I don't even have a manual with this guy. I have a PDF that um, Mayono sent me, but that will also be in the box. You, normally they include some big, glossy, thick, you know, uh, quick start guides and stuff like that. Today, uh, I had to figure it all out myself with the help of the manual they sent me, but this is what the mic looks like. Now, you can see the mic here in the middle. We also get a base, a windscreen, and then a couple cables over here. So we'll start with the mic itself. Usually I go through the other things first, but this is the star of the show. And taking it out of the box, it feels hefty, all metal, very uh, robust, perfectly like done lines, no sharp edges anywhere on this. It feels like an extremely professional product you would find in a studio, in a radio station, a recording studio, something like that. It looks really nice. Mayono's logo is kind of understated. Um, it's not really gaudy. It's out of the way. and. It just feels and looks fantastic. Now, on the mic itself, we have a few controls, which we'll talk about in a moment. Okay, you can see a knob right here, and then on the bottom, um, some inputs and outputs and a little switch right there. And then at the bottom, we've got a swivel. You can attach this either to like a hanging mount, or you can put it on the desktop stand, which is included. Now, um, I believe this is like a standard fitting, and either way you mount it, you wanna make sure you're talking into the end of the microphone. This isn't a, like a condenser where you're speaking into the flat front area. You wanna speak here uh, at the end of the microphone like this, okay? So that's the mic itself. We've also got the base. I'll pull that out next. Now this is like a solid metal uh, with a little bit of rubber on the bottom to stick to your desk. Um, and it feels just as good a quality as the microphone itself. So what we'll do is we'll screw that in and then we can set it on the table like that. Okay, now you can see a little, I think that was my table wobbling, but the microphone itself also has a little bit of wobble. I tried to tighten that down, um, but I think it's necessary for it to be loose enough to spin. Um, but just bear in mind that you don't wanna be like on like a bus moving cause this is gonna be a little bit wobbly. So that's first con of the system, uh, a little bit unstable there. They probably could have tightened that up. Maybe in the final production model, it will be. Who knows, okay? Now we've got a windscreen. I'm not gonna apply this right now. We're not outside, but if you're interviewing someone or recording outside, you can add that. They also include a USB to USB-C cable. This is gonna be for uh, using the microphone with your PC, if you wanna use the built-in um, DAC or sound card or whatever it is. And then we've also got an, an XLR cable here. It's a good long, at least 10 feet XLR cable, nice thick rubber jacket. And then that is just gonna plug in right here on the bottom. Now, speaking of the bottom, let's talk about a few of these ins and outs. So we've got our XLR right here, which you're gonna utilize if you're using your own sound card or mixer. We've also got our USB-C, which is how you connect this for power and signal for the uh, computer program, or for just using with Zoom or Skype or YouTube or whatever. We've got a little button here with three LEDs above it, and this is to adjust uh, your filters or your EQ modes. We've got a, a high pass filter. Uh, there's a flat, just kind of neutral sound, nothing applied. And then we've got kind of like a presence boost right there with a little hump. And uh, that's gonna be if you wanna add um, a little more presence to your vocals, okay? And that's all the buttons right there. And then and lastly, we come to this three-in-one function button on the front right there. And to see that adequately, let me get my computer and plug it in, and then you can see the lights light up and see how that works. Okay, so I've got my laptop right over here, all powered up, ready to go. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug this in, you know, real time so that you can see 
uh, how it looks when it powers up. So once we get the USB-C in right there, you can see your three function knob uh, and this little touch button at the top. I forgot to mention this guy. This is your mute button. So if you click that, it will turn red and now the microphone is muted and if you touch it again, now it's back on. So if you need to quickly mute, little touch sensitive area right there does that for you. Now this is gonna be your main knob, okay? And if you turn this, let me see if I can get like a good angle here. You can see the LEDs light up and turn off tons of different um, kind of gradations in the knob. Uh, so right now I've got it on the gain functionality. You can see the little uh, microphone icon right there. If I click it, now we're on the headphone volume. So this is gonna be your monitoring volume in the headphones. I forgot to mention, on the bottom right here, we have a little headphone jack. So you can monitor straight from the microphone, okay? So again, right now we're adjusting the headphone volume. And then your last setting right here, they're both gonna light up the mic and the headphones, and this is your monitor mix. So if you wanna just hear straight uh, microphone in your headphones, or if you wanna hear the mix from your your computer, your device, uh, you can adjust uh, that signal ratio right there. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep mine in the middle, and I'm gonna go back to gain, and I'll put the gain at about three quarters right there on the microphone. So I've got my laptop plugged in right here. Like I said, I've got Audacity powered up and we'll do a little bit of a sound test because of course if you're buying a microphone like this you care about how it sounds now with the gain at about three quarters uh, I'm hitting negative 6 DB in audacity uh, again just a few inches away from the microphone which I think is really important with this particular model so let me hit record and uh, what I'll do is I'll switch the audio over to this guy in three two one and now you're hearing the audio through the PDX 400 and, uh, you know, I'm just speaking straight on probably three or four inches from the diaphragm or from the top of the microphone. And that's really important. If I go off to the side over here, you're really not going to hear as much. And if I go off to the side over here, you're not going to hear as much. And even if I back away uh, this direction, the audio gets very, very quiet. So it's important that you're pretty much right up on the microphone, which is a limitation of the desk stand. I would suggest buying a boom arm somewhere where you can get this microphone right up close to your mouth. It'll make a big difference in the sound. Now, right now I'm recording you know, straight into Audacity, no altering the, the sound or anything like that. Uh, literally just tried to get the levels decent. And with the you know gain at three quarters, I'm still getting a pretty weak signal, okay? So I can like, I can bring the gain up a little bit. Let me, uh, let me see where we're at here. Actually, there we go, check, check, one, two. Okay, so now the gain's up a little bit higher. It looks like we're at like, I mean, I'm almost all the way up. Uh, so this is gain all the way up right here. And you're going to pick up like a lot of the room, uh, I think, with the gain up that high. So that's why I try and keep it a little bit lower. Uh, let's see where we're at now. We're back down to maybe 70, 80 percent. OK. And uh, once again, this is just trying to give you an idea, just talking so you can hear how the microphone sounds. Now, they do include some software with the PDX 400 that gives you control over some additional functions. So I'm going to swing the camera around and let you see that software and we can test a few of the different functions. OK, so I'm going to show you the Mayono Link software in just a moment, but I wanted to start in Audacity just to highlight that you need to be recording in a different software, even if you're using the Mayono Link software. OK, so I just said software twice, but basically we still have to record in Audacity even though we're going to adjust the functions down here in the Mayono software. So this is what Mayono Link looks like when you plug it in. You've got a standard side, and then you've got an advanced side over here, okay? So we'll start with the standard, okay? And I just accidentally clicked my monitor to the left. So we've got a mute button as well as a level control right here. We've got our headphone volume right here for your monitoring. You can adjust that up and down. And then our monitor mix, like I just said, if you want to hear just the microphone or your computer audio, you can kind of go between the two. Now we've got a few different tone functions right now. It's on deep, which I believe is just kind of a flat natural. Okay. This is what the natural sound like. Check one, two. This is the bright setting, check one, two, check one, two. And then we have legacy, which I'm not sure uh, what legacy does, but there you go. So we'll keep it on deep, uh, which is the one that it came on. We've also got the uh, gain control right here, near, mid, and far. This basically automatically adjusts how uh, high your gain is. Near would be five to 10 centimeters. Mid would be 11 to 30 centimeters. And then far would be 31 to 60. And you can see the volume uh, in Audacity on the right here kind of adjusting. So I'm going to keep it on near. I don't want to overdrive this microphone. Okay. Now, if we switch to the advanced side, a lot of stuff is the same. We've got mute, headphone volume, monitor mix. And then for EQ, instead of tone, we have flat, high pass filter, which takes out the lowest of lows. We've got presence boost, which kind of looks like it adds some mids. And then we've also got the uh, high pass filter and presence boost right here. Okay. So I'm just going to keep mine on uh, 
flat right there. Now the gain is right below here. And if I use my knob on the uh, microphone itself, you can see that that goes up and down. So I'm going to keep it at about 70 right there. I found that to be a good um, gain level. Okay. And they also have a limiter right here and a compressor. And it looks like you can adjust uh, some functionalities if you want to get into threshold attack release. Um, I don't you know, know that much about it. And you can adjust, I, I think, how strong those functions are right here, okay? So right now we've got it on flat EQ with the limiter and the compressor all the way up and the gain at about 70 right here, okay? And I found that to be a good setting. So there you have it, the new Mayono unreleased PDX 400. Uh, it is a combo XLR USB microphone. Now, I'm not gonna mess with the XLR settings right now because I think the majority of people that are buying this are gonna be buying it for the USB functionality. Now, if you wanna go the analog route, do it with your own sound card, that's of course fine. Uh, I'm sure the sound quality is gonna be very similar to the USB, but find someone else that's testing that because in this video, we're focusing on the USB functionality. But 10 out of 10, Mayono always does the build quality fantastic. Now I do have to ding them maybe a little design wise for this kind of wobbly stand. They could, probably could have tightened that up a little bit and that the gain is maybe a little bit low on the computer. But other than that, uh, I think it's great. It's plug and play, very easy to use, and you could be the judge whether or not you know you like the sound quality. So if you wanna grab one of these, I'll include a link down in the description. As soon as this is available to buy, you can purchase through there and support the channel. I would of course love you for it and appreciate the support. If you found this review useful or you, know, you wanna see more tech unboxings, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, uh, leave a comment and a like, it helps the channel grow. And if you want to go above and beyond, you can always click the link in the description to buy me a soda and I'll shout you out in an upcoming video. But that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.